In this week's Friday Five, we take a look at some of my favorite iMac Pro apps. Virtualization is a great way to utilize multiple cores on the iMac Pro. And one of my favorite apps is VMware Fusion. Now you can go in here, you can configure uh, multiple cores for each virtual instance. In this example, it's displaying the hyper-threading cores as well, so you get up to 16 cores for an eight core machine like I'm using right now. You can also, of course, customize the amount of memory used. And since the iMac Pro comes with a healthy amount of RAM, even in its base configuration, it makes for a very powerful virtual machine setup. As you can see, I have four different Windows 10 instances running at the same time. And I'm still able to go about using my Mac because there's still plenty of resources left over for what I'm using. I'm even recording the screen at the same time while running these four virtual instances. Now, obviously I've dialed back the amount of RAM and processor resources that I give to these four instances. However, it's still pretty impressive. And if you go for something like the 18 core iMac Pro, it can get really crazy with the amount of virtual machines you can run simultaneously. I've long been a fan of iStat Menus, which is a menu bar utility that allows you to monitor your system resources. So you can go in here and configure things like CPU and G GPU monitoring. You can configure memory monitoring, disk, network activity, etc. The list really goes on and on. And what's cool about it is that it all lives in the menu bar via a highly customizable interface. So you can monitor hourly activity, 24 hour activity, seven days, or even a month of activity. Uh, you can get some really fine-grained details from this interface. But not just that, you can actually monitor each individual core, and you can see it's also able to display hyper-threading cores. So you can see I have 16 cores listed here. It's even able to display frequency of your CPU at the current time. Now, I'll talk about that a little bit later because that actually depends on another app that I'm recommending as well. It also is able to display GPU usage over a period of time, as you can see there. It's also able to display memory usage, so you can go in and see which apps are using memory, how much memory you have, if it's using swap memory, uh, page ins and page outs, things of that nature. And of course, it also reports on all of the disks connected to your Mac, so that includes your internal disk and also external disk as well. So of course, iStat Menus is not just for iMac Pro users, but because the iMac Pro has so many resources to monitor, it really makes iStat menus that much more valuable. Intel Power Gadget is a utility from, you guessed it, Intel, and it allows you to keep tabs on your CPU's vitals. So you'll see things like power usage, current frequency, temperature, and utilization. It's a great utility for real-time CPU monitoring, but it also allows you to monitor and log all this data directly to a text file for archival purposes or for research purposes. But to me, the best thing about Intel Power Gadget is that it allows you to see current CPU frequency. And if you want to display that frequency within iStat menus, you need to install Power Gadget. Now watch what happens to the vitals when I stop exporting this ScreenFlow project. Notice how everything just dips down immediately so you get that real-time monitoring of power, frequency, temperature, and utilization with Power Gadget a handy free utility that I highly recommend. Now, obviously it would be ridiculous to keep Final Cut Pro off this list. So obviously we are including it, but I feel like the benefits are a little bit more nuanced with Final Cut Pro 10 when it comes to the iMac Pro. Now, let me show you one of the major benefits. This is a 4K project, 60 frames per second, as you can see there. But the difference here is that this is a Canon raw light file. So this is raw video. Uh, which is about one gigabit per second bitrate, which is crazy. And you can see it's playing back here smoothly right on the timeline, even as I record with ScreenFlow. But here's something that is gonna blow your mind, or at least it should. I'm going to add an effect to this video, this raw video, 4K, 60 frames per second. And I'm going to make sure that the rendering does not occur. And I'm gonna play it back in best quality. So you can see, unrendered timeline, go up to view, you can see better quality, and I'm playing it back just like that, and it plays back smoothly. Now that is ridiculous, um, and you would not be able to do something like that on a lesser machine, I can tell you that right off the bat. Uh, so although you don't get the super fast exports, you can see how the iMac Pro is being pushed by this timeline. So really, 
timeline performance should be one of the key selling points for Final Cut Pro 10 users considering the iMac Pro. Now, if you're just looking for raw performance when exporting, then ScreenFlow 7 does a great job of that. So I'm gonna export this video. It's a 4K video, ProRes 422. And you'll notice that this thing starts flying right out of the gate. Uh, the export times are incredibly good with the iMac Pro and ScreenFlow 7. So they've really optimized this thing to work well in multi-threaded environments. And you can see all the cores are being utilized at the same time and the benefits speak for themselves. You can really see how fast that export is flying. And if you've ever tried to export a similar file on a lesser machine, you know that this is quite impressive. So that has been a look at some of my favorite iMac Pro apps. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.